folks, very welcome to another set of video series here uh, about products and bikes. I'm having a special uh, version today. Uh, we are here invited at Walzberg in um, Schwetzingen or Hockenheim, Hockenheim actually, actually, <laughs> actually um, which is pretty well known for the racetrack. And um, we're allowed to have a look into your showroom. Workshop. Workshop, <laughs> workshop, workshop. showroom combination. Yeah. Okay, thanks for, be, for having us thanks, here. I'm um, very thanks. happy to be here. And we walked in and it's like 100 bikes here. It's spectacular. Almost 100 bikes, yes, yes. And uh, uh, most of them, of course, uh, BMW, old Beamers with the uh, two valve boxer engines. That's actually our, our core business. Okay, but you're well known since 30 years for the big Harley things, uh, for, the, for the conversions, for the custom bikes. You sold them or gave them or um, uh, gave them to Formula One drivers, very they, famous they ones. Bought it. They bought them, okay. Um, and and um, nowadays you're working only with BMWs. That's right, that's right. That's, that was my, my first life with the Harley, with the Harley business, with Vals Hardcore Cycles. And uh, since uh, 30 years, actually 40 years, I'm working just with uh, BMW, Ducati, and uh, probably Triumph and uh, Yamaha projects. Okay, okay. So, so there are some spectacular conversions. I mean, uh, we've seen the R90s. Um, we're just right in front of the new, brand new R18. Yeah. Um, you tell us a little bit more about that later, but you're well, very well known for the Shih Tzu bikes. I mean, exactly. this is like urban style bikes. You said it's like four different versions, um, but um, it's all retro style. That's all retro style. That, that's uh, actually they are old bikes. They are not only retro style like the R90. They are real uh, uh, vintage bikes. You know, they are 30 years plus. You know, so uh, and we build them in uh, four uh, four different versions: Cubby Racer, Scrambler, uh, Roadster, and Bobber, Bobber style. And then you can choose it and you can configure it to your uh, specification. Okay. So, so why are people riding those old bikes? I mean, are they fun to ride? I mean, they are 30 years old, as you said. Yes, that, that, that's actually the basic riding of motorcycles, you know, that's, that's really pure. You don't have some assistance like ABS or stuff like this, or, uh, uh, traction control, there's nothing on the bike, it's just riding pure motorcycles. Okay, you know, that's actually the reason why people buy oh, the, the, the old bikes. Yeah, but if I look at some of them, I mean, they, they look very uncomfortable in riding. What is it? Um, is it a show bike um, that you can put into your garage or in your, in your living room, or is it something you can really ride? No, not at all. It's not, it's not a show bike at all, because all our bikes we build are really built to ride. And you can, you can even ride it really hard. So, uh, especially the scramblers, you go really, in the, in the, uh, you can go uh, dirt riding. You, you can you can beat the shit out of this thing, you know. So uh, they are made for riding. That's not just a show bike. Okay, we're working since some years now, um, and yet you have a setup with most of these bikes with black teeth suspension now. Um, so is that a reason why you you've chosen us more or less um, to, to to build the bikes? Well, I work with 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 many suspension manufacturers together. So, but. Uh, Finally, we, d we decided to, 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 to work with all of our bikes with uh, black T suspension because they, are, uh, they, they work really well. And uh, the, uh, the collaboration with the company itself is very, very, very nice. That's cool. We're happy to hear that. Yeah. Um, and we're trying to enlarge a little bit the portfolio. So for the Shih Tzu bikes, we, we're specially building the suspension for you. Yeah. Um, for the R9T, I know the same. But what about the R18? I mean, this one looks quite low. Mm -hmm. um, is, is it is it standard or is it completely converted? No, it's completely converted, the whole bike. And actually it's uh, 70 millimeter lower than the stock bike. 17? 70, 17 millimeter. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 70, yeah. <laughs> 70 millimeter lower. And uh, reach it from the uh, adjustable rear shock. You can adjust it to your to your uh, preferred ride height. And uh, on the front we have uh, progressive, progressive uh, torque springs. They are lowered as 70 millimeters as well. So, uh, and all that products, especially for the R18 and for the uh, old BMWs, are specially made from black tea for us. So they are not available through black tea from customers. They have to order it from us. Okay, okay. But this looks really quite low. And, and that's the same like with the Harleys uh, mm -hmm. you had uh, built in, in the past. Uh, is that still rideable? I mean, is it fun riding that? It's, it's really fun to ride. I mean, those, uh, you can compare the, R80 with, uh, with an old bike. It's of course. Uh, almost 200 kilo uh, difference. You 
Yeah. But they are 165 and they are 350. You know? okay. yeah. So, but uh, they are still rideable even even if they are uh, that low. And uh, if you, if you think it's too low, you can still adjust it to make it a little bit higher or, okay. or whatever. You know? But they are still rideable. The first thing which which touch the ground when you go a little bit more into the corner is the foot. The, the foot foot packs. Packs. Yeah. Okay. and but they are uh, foldable, so uh, nothing can, happens. Nothing happens. Okay, exactly. It looks spectacular, especially if you compare the those original ones with your rebuilt ones. Um, it looks great. I've seen quite a lot of other bikes here in the showroom. Um, thanks for having us, and um, I really would like to have a look uh, around and yeah. um, just have a look at some of the bikes. And I'm very happy that we work together here, yeah. and uh, hope to bring some other bikes on the street. But you said. You, you were having 60 bikes per year or something? It's exactly. We built 50 uh, from the old ones, from the vintage bikes, and uh, 12 of the R18. It's 62 bikes production uh, capacity per year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so how long do I need to wait until I get one? Uh, right now, October 2022. So it's more than a year. It's one and a half years. It's one and a half years, exactly. Sold out yeah. completely. Completely sold out. That's spectacular. Yeah, yeah. Good for us, good for yeah. you. And, um, <laughs> Thanks, God. Um, I mean, for everybody who has a chance to come into the showroom when everything's open again, yep. um, it's really it's really worth looking having a look here. Thank you Thanks. very much. Take care.